to the leather journey and tonight we're going to continue our our playlist our series on clamps and the type that we're going to look at tonight uh, is clamps that have a mechanical assist uh, or a mechanical adjustment and if you look online and you do some research on on clamps at a kinky toy store you're going to find a lot of different designs almost beyond what the imagination could come up with. So I'm just gonna show you some of the ones that I've collected over the 20 plus years that I've been in leather. Uh, but this little clamp is like a C clamp uh, or a C in a C and it has a little screw that adjusts it tighter or looser. And the, the thread on the screw is, is a fine thread so you have a very fine adjustment. So you could see, you could slip, you know, that over a nipple or behind a nipple, and then you could, you could gently adjust that, the tension on that uh, to where it's snug or tighter. It depends on the type of play you're doing. As long as it's consensual and you don't leave it on too long, uh, my rule of thumb is no more than 20 minutes, but I generally play with clamps in the neighborhood of, of anywhere from 8 to 12 minutes. I use the, the dungeon songs as kind of my guide. I like uh, three or four radio length dungeon songs. If they're long play dungeon songs, then you might only leave them on for one or one and a half, because long play uh, dungeon songs are usually seven to nine minutes each. So another type, uh, it's almost like a hybrid clamp because it's it's a normal spring-loaded clamp like a clothespin would be, but it has an adjustment screw. So uh, but this clamp by itself has a really strong spring in it. So that spring might be too much tension for someone. But what the screw does is allows you to adjust or control that spring tension so that you have the potential of the spring tension there, but you have very fine control of that spring tension by screwing the screw in or letting the screw out and, and fine tuning that adjustment. Okay, so those are that's a very nice design um, for uh, adding what I would call a hybrid to a clothespin style clamp. Uh, these are similar; they're just black in color, but it's it's very much similar design. The spring in this one's not nearly as strong as the spring in the chrome one, but it's the same idea. It has a screw that screws in or screws out, and get provides fine tune adjustment to that clamp now we're going to go to a little bit different style clamp these both have a very similar mechanism and i'm going to talk about them i got this recently from the terrible toy shop which is a kinky vendor online and it has like five different fingers and this black nut at the back uh, it screws to loosen and open those fingers up or to tighten those fingers down, okay? And it's designed, they have, um, they have a toy similar to this that's designed for the nipples and they have a toy, uh, this particular one is designed for the clitoris. And the one for the clitoris, it doesn't open up quite as wide as the one that does for the nipple, although I could probably use that on a male nipple, that wouldn't fit over most females' nipples. So uh, it the pluses of this is it it's a type of plastic that is dishwasher safe, so it would be easy to sanitize. The downside of it, and I haven't had an actual chance to test it yet, is this screw doesn't screw very smoothly or uh, very easily. Now, I don't know if that's going to wear in over time as I use it, but new right out of the box, it doesn't screw as smoothly as I would like it to. So what is this one? 
This is one of those vanilla pervertibles. Uh, if you're an electrician out there and you're watching, then you probably know what we're looking at. But this is an old uh, style fuse puller. So if you had a fuse in a box, a commercial size fuse, not a small fuse that's in a, in a car, but a, a commercial size fuse in a box and you needed to pull that fuse, uh, you would open this up, you would put it around the fuse, tighten it down, pull the fuse out, you could use it to put the new fuse back in the box. Uh, but what I'm gonna use it for is a nipple clamp. So that just goes around the nipple or the part of the body that you're wanting to clamp. And this has a, a fine threaded screw that you turn the knob and it tightens it or loosens it. So it's very, very easy to use. And, um, very handy. It's one of my more favorite clamps, and it's not one of those that I got from a kinky toy store. It's one of those that I saw in the vanilla world, whether, you know, Home, Home Depot, we affectionately call it Dom Depot. Uh, you know, whether you're in a hardware store or an electric uh, repair supply store, and you see something and the light bulb goes on in your head and you go, oh, that's a fuse puller, but I bet that would make a really nice clamp. And it does. Okay, so this gets my vote over this. Although in fairness to this uh, from Terrible Toy Shop, I am gonna try it out and I'll get back to you in a future video with with how that works, but just generally comparing this with the fuse puller, I would say the fuse puller is going to win. As always, thanks for watching The Leather Journey.